Hi everyone, this is Tim Womack, Senior Pastor here at First Presbyterian Church, and I just wanted to share a little bit with you about where we are uh, as a congregation and what some of our plans are in the very near future. As some of you know, the coronavirus is impacting Florida significantly. Our cases are on the rise, and as a church, we're trying to be sensitive to this reality. At this point, we continue to have in-person worship as well as live stream worship. We will continue to have an 8.30 service and a 10 o'clock service. We are requiring that people wear masks. There is no congregational singing per se. We do have some leaders who are singing. They also are masked. And we, again, would remind you that in these two services, we practice social distancing. So all of these things remain in place as we worship God. We would also share with you, if it is uh, a possibility for you, there is less attendance at this point at our 8.30 service than there is at our 10 o'clock service. So if you are looking to come to in-person worship, would like some more distance, uh, we encourage you to come to the 8.30 service as 10 o'clock is uh, reasonably full. We still are able to satisfy social distancing, yet we want to make sure that we're able to do that in the future. So that's kind of where we are with worship. We encourage you to continue to be with us either on campus or through live stream or on Facebook. We encourage you to worship God however is best for you and your family. We continue in the study of Romans Romans is just such an important letter uh, from Scripture for us as Protestants, particularly. And through the work of Luther and Calvin, as they studied Romans, it reminds us that we are saved by faith alone and that we are justified through faith, a justification and a righteousness that comes from God. How does that work in our daily living? It should give us confidence. It should give us strength. It should empower us no matter what we're facing, whether in the midst of this pandemic, whether in the midst of uh, social upheaval, uh, demands for justice, and how it is we honor those who seek to serve and protect. All of those things are taking place, and we encourage you to be engaged with us as we worship together as this congregation. Just to share with you, as we've alluded to, there is great... Um, issues that are afoot in our society. We have implemented a study of justice and honor, which is looking at some of the issues we face as a congregation. We do not want to remain silent. We want to be an active partner in this conversation uh, as we need to make sure that we have a broad appreciation for black lives and for how it is that our law enforcement interacts with all of us. We want to make sure that they're honored because there's so many uh, of our members and friends who are associated both with people of color and with those who serve and protect us. So we are engaged in that. So listen for opportunities for Zoom conversations and for your opportunity to take part in that Justice and Honor Task Force. Also, we would share with you that we are trying to be as creative as we possibly can uh, in terms of reaching out to the needs of our congregation. If we don't reach out to you, if you haven't gotten a phone call, if you're not getting emails, please call us. Reach out to us. Let us know how we can better serve you because that is critical to us as a congregation. So finally, I wanted to take you over and show you some of the work that's being done on our chapel. We've taken this time when we know we could not utilize the chapel to strengthen some of the walls that were frankly falling prey to water damage. And so we are getting that fixed. I wanna show you a little bit of what we're doing. So here's what's going on in the chapel as we continue to try to strengthen what we're doing here at First Presbyterian Church. So we definitely have a construction site you can see that all the chairs have been moved and placed under protective tarps, and we continue to do that. So we're making sure that all the furniture is protected as we work on the walls. As some of you know, the window wall 
was damaged by so much water that has accumulated over the years. And so there is a, a tarp covering the front of where we are doing some of our construction. And I will try to give you a sneak peek behind the curtain. And so you can see the wall that needs to get taken care of. Here is just a little example of some of the damage and it has gotten to a point where it really needs to be repaired. Uh, the wood underneath has been uh, removed. We do have some cinder blocks there uh, and you can see some of the beginning work of this construction. So keep us in your prayers. We'll continue to let you know how it comes uh, and uh, it's going to be a wonderful addition to our ministry. So again, we miss everyone. We look forward to your return to be with us here at First Presbyterian Church. We look forward to being with you via live stream, but mostly we look forward to the end of this pandemic and a time in which we can get back together as the church. Please continue to pray for us as a church. We will pray for you. And again, if you haven't been contacted recently, please call us and let us know how you're doing. Take care and may God bless you and yours.